you know, evolution follows that. Again, what do we do to encourage these guys that are coming aboard now to stay put? How do we make it easier to live in right. Jersey, right. in Hawthorne, in Bergen County? It doesn't right. matter where you are. How do we make it better? We're giving them co the clothing allowances. We're giving them low sap. We're giving them all these nice little stipends. Well, maybe the stipends are good for a guy like myself where you can put it away for a couple of years. Maybe I need it every two months. Right. Maybe I need to pay for my college books so I can stay in town. Yep. I just think the evolution has to follow what's happening to the ser to people. Never mind the service, to people. If they're a part of the service, they came aboard already. How do I keep them there? What can I, What in life can I make it easier for them? You know? So, yeah. How? Strengths, weaknesses, um, opportunities, and um, elasticity. Don't look at me. It sounds uh, like something you read. Yeah, no, it's the SWAT stuff. And that's uh, <laughs> strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And that's really what we kind of probably have to ask ourselves in, in the volunteer service to our members is say, like, listen, what's our strengths? What's our weaknesses? What opportunities are there for us as an organization to grow? But what, what's, a, what's a threat to you, the individual, what would stop you from coming here and to us as an organization? And really, I mean, that's where we find the, the, the I don't want to say the recruitment and retention issue, but, like, it's going to be because, like, hey, if, some, if, if, like, do we have any clue that four or five of our members are about to lose their jobs or right. yeah. the property taxes have gone up another 10% and they can't afford that? You know, like, well, that, and I mean, just those are some of the sure. random things that come to my mind. But sure. I encourage my officers to really get involved with the, not get involved with the family members of the fire, the firefighters, but know your firefighters mm -hmm. and know when to leave it alone. If Jeremy's got a problem at home, Give him the, the space he needs. Don't break his chops. You're making only 30% of the calls. What's going on, Jeremy? Let him go. Yeah. You have to know that. Right. And you also know that it's not my business, and I'll keep him outside and just let him have some time. If our guys know that, it makes the job easier for the younger people and even the middle-aged people on the fire department. It just seems like they're if they're part of that group and you understand that they're having difficulties sometimes at home or at work or if they're in need of something mm -hmm. else, we're here to help them. We're not here to close the door, but we don't want to pressure them, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I tell you what, if you don't incorporate the families into the, the guys and gals that are part of the service, That's we're right. doomed. We're doomed. This is a 9 11 happened when I was chief, and I immediately, this, about 11 o'clock, I dispatched our department to stand by with their families at fire headquarters, their headquarters. Go to your firehouse, stand by, bring your families, because I don't know what's coming next. Right. And, and that was a dark, dark day, period. Oh, you know, but, it sure was. But it's family. It was just bringing the family in, making sure you knew where your wife or your kids were or your girlfriend was. While you're out running around on a call for maybe another town to protect their facility, because we got called through Rochelle Park, AT&T right. building. My family's back. We got called with Bergen County mm -hmm. to stand by for hours at the Meadowlands. Our wives, you know, girlfriends didn't know. Our husbands mm -hmm. didn't know. You know, so making sure they're part of that group, so they have a support mechanism, and they understand the fire service. That they start to realize that, yeah, we may go out for a motor vehicle accident, be out there for four hours, maybe out there for fifteen minutes, but. If they understand how it works, they start to be encompassed. They start to support their, their spouse or, or you know, their significant other a lot better. It's Agreed. a lot easier to run out the door mm -hmm. on Easter Sunday or Christmas morning going right. to a fire when they understand what you're about. And if we, we encourage that with our fire service, I think we've got that. Hey, everybody. It's Robert with National Fire Radio. Thanks for tuning in. Catch up with us on social media. we got SoundCloud, National Fire Radio, YouTube, National Fire Radio, Instagram, National Fire Radio, and Facebook, National Fire Radio. Guys, check us out. Take care. Peace out.